The ICU is really where you go when you're very sick. It's a really intense interventionist environment, and so when you're in the ICU, you really need to know how acutely ill an individual is so you can decide whether you need to specify treatments very quickly or whether you need to focus more care on them. There is a tremendous amount of information that the doctors and nurses and all of the care staff are actually encoding in some of these notes that they take and a lot of that is just harder to access. You know, it's not a nice set of codes that are already, you know, pre-sorted in some very easy to use way. It's just sort of this free text that's a sprawl and very difficult to use, but probably contains more informative things about the underlying patient state. So there's a patient and he's really, really sick. And then there's a doctor and she's totally overwhelmed because patients generate so much data. There's basically a zillion notes and constant signals who can keep up with a thousand hertz. Oh yeah, I guess there's also that other stuff, like age and gender and acuity scores. It seems pretty important to think about. And maybe that would all be okay if there was just one patient. But there are so, so many patients in a modern ICU. So here's what this doctor really wants. She'd like a real-time indicator of how sick each patient is. Now let's say on a scale of faking it to dead, and maybe beyond. But how can she get that? That's where we come in. We can predict how sick patients are by looking at their notes, which is great because there's a lot of notes, nearly half a million from 19,308 patients. Using a couple of magical, fancy looking plates, we can model common topics that we find in the notes. And then for each patient, we can figure out which topics are the most relevant to them. Then you say, hey, I feel like you're saying a lot of words that are related to the topic of septic shock. You may not think your patient is going through septic shock, but maybe they're going to at some point soon, so maybe you should you know, take a look at them right now or try some more interventionist techniques at this point. If you look at our population, the baseline mortality is about 11%, but what we can see is the relative mortality of the topics is pretty different from that. Some are really high like this one that looks like it's about respiratory failure with words like intubated and vent, secretions, definitely not a topic you want in your notes. But some are really low, like this one that looks like it's about broken bones. Broken bones hurt, but they don't usually kill you. And even better, we can look at how the topics change in time for each new note that comes in, which is great because usually the information that a doctor gets at admission, that baseline data, is less and less predictive over time. Since the notes accumulate, they don't start off doing that well, but they get more and more predictive. And when we use both of them together and combine the models, it helps us get a prediction that's great from the time the patient shows up to the time that they leave the hospital. Everything I hear about now related to clinical care is all about can we make more space for doctors to be doctors and less room for them to be accountants and note takers and you know transcribists or whatever it is right we want to allow doctors to actually feel like they're making decisions about a patient's care right and what I would hope is if a system like this really was implemented it would allow doctors to spend more time caring for patients